Welcome to another day in pre-K with Miss Susie. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Let's start off with our Days of the Week song so we know what day it is today, okay? Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Sing with me now. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. All right, so today is Thursday, and it is the 24th day of September, so it is Thursday, September 24th, and we are learning all about you or all about me again, and so our question of the day, boys and girls, is I want you to answer is, do you like to follow rules at home, and why? If you don't like, you can tell me why. And if you do like following rules, I want you to tell me why. Why do you think rules are important to follow? Okay, once you're done with that for your read out loud, I want you to listen or go watch the story on YouTube again called No David. And after you're done listening to it for your literacy activity, I want you to write about the book. So I want you to write about something that David wasn't supposed to do, something that his mom said no to. So I draw a picture of what it was that he was doing that he was not supposed to do. And then once you're done with your literacy activity, boys and girls, for your math activity today, I want you to practice writing your numbers one through five again. I know I, I made you guys all some tracer sheets so you can trace your numbers. And this, when you're done tracing your number, I also want you to freehand it on your a piece of paper or a whiteboard. So just write your numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And just do your best because it doesn't have to be perfect because I know you're still learning how to write nicely, okay? And it takes lots of practice and you're going to get really good at it, okay? All right, boys and girls, when you're done practicing writing your numbers for your outdoor experience or um, we're not doing it outdoor actually, but it's fine motor, I want you to practice um, cutting something with a scissor. So at home, if you don't have a scissor, you can, you know, ask someone to see if you can borrow one or, you know, you can practice, you know, we all should have scissors at home. So you can ask your mom, dad, and if they only have a big scissor, you need to be very careful because scissors are sharp. So this is how you hold a scissor. You see the big part, the longer part? You That's where you put your three fingers, and then the small circle part, that's where you put your thumb. So you're gonna hold it like this, and you're gonna open, close, open, close. And you gotta be very careful because you don't wanna cut anything, okay? Scissors are only for us to cut paper with. So I want you to ask your mom and dad or your brother and sister if there's some paper that they don't need anymore and you can practice cutting it. Practice cutting the paper and be very careful to not cut your fingers because you don't want to get hurt, okay? So if you do use a scissor, make sure you have someone help you 
or someone right there so they can show you how to use it and they can watch you use the scissor safely. And when you're done using it, make sure you give it back, but don't give it back with a point pointing towards anyone. Just hold it like this with a point pointing down and then give it back to whoever it is that let you borrow the scissor, okay? And you can take a video or a picture of you practice cutting with your scissor too, okay, boys and girls? All right. Once you are done with that, you are going to go on your tablet. And on your tablet again, you are going to go on Con Kids today and finish your assignments in the library. And then once you're done finishing your assignments, I want you to go on IXL. And your skills today for IXL is B1 for math and B5 for language arts. And remember, make sure you select pre-K and try to get 80% or more. Once you're done with that, I want you to go on to Epic and read two or three books. All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. Have a great day. Bye.